Welcome to Craft Shop, Brad here. Today I'm going to be trying something new. I'm going to be making hairpin style table legs out of half inch rebar. I've never tried this before. I'm really excited to give it a shot. So let's see how it goes. All right, before I pull out the rebar, I need to find out how I'm going to bend it. I decide I'm going to try to make a jig I'm using a four x four, a lag screw and a piece of gas pipe. I'm going to drill a hole in my four x four for the gas pipe. Now I'm drilling a hole for the lag screw. So I'm just placing these side by side. I've never bent rebar before, so this is kind of an experiment for me. The gas pipe is a little bit loose, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw some wood wedges in there. It's not perfect, but I think it'll hold up. All right, so that is basically my jig. The goal is to bend the rebar around the gas pipe while the lag screw acts as a stop. All right, so now I need to cut my rebar to length. I've got two 10 foot pieces to start off with, and there goes my tape measure. I'm just cutting these right in half at about five feet. And I'm just using a cutoff disc on my angle grinder. So there I've got four pieces at five feet. Now I am marking the center, which is two and a half feet. If all goes well, this will be the center of my bend. All right, so I am just clamping my jig onto my workbench. And that gas pipe is still a little bit loose, so I'm just putting a screw in to keep it a little bit tighter. All right, I'm ready for my first bend, and I'm going to be bending around the right side of the gas pipe. and I am marking the middle of the gas pipe. This is where the line on the rebar needs to match up. And if I'm off by a little bit, that's not a huge deal because the rebar is a little bit big to start with. All right, time for the first bend. And the bend isn't going exactly as I pictured. I've never bent this before. I kind of pictured it bending to the width of the gas pipe, but a wider base doesn't bother me. I'm just gonna go with it. And now I'm just going to do the same thing to all the other pieces. I noticed that if you start your bend halfway on one side and then flip it and finish it off on the other side, you have a more even curve, rather than one side being a little bit steeper than the other. And you can see the scale popping off of that rebar. It's pretty cool. All right, and now I am just making some final adjustments by hand. I'm making sure all the measurements match up. All right, now I have taped all my pieces together and I am grinding the ends until they are flush and all the same length. And that looks pretty good to me. All right, now on to the mounting brackets. All right, I've got my measurements. I need four pieces at six inches and four pieces at about seven and a quarter. So now I'm just getting all these pieces cut up with the angle grinder. All right, I got the pieces cut. Now I'm ready to weld them together. And before you see my welds, let me warn you, I am not a great welder. I don't have much experience yet, but the welds are definitely strong enough to hold the steel together. I use flux, so it's a bit splattery. I'm gonna have to clean these up. And I threw a few spot welds on the back. One of them is terrible and two of them I think are pretty decent. These are all going to be cleaned up with a flap disc anyway. All right, there they are all welded up and you can see a huge mistake I made. I welded the wrong edges together on a couple of them. So they are a bit longer than the others. 
but because it's an even number, I'm just gonna go with it. I'll just use those as the back legs. And I'm just lining this up to the edge of a tabletop I'm gluing up. I just want a preview of what this is going to look like. And I am also going to be measuring for the second piece of rebar. And if you can pretend my measuring stick is a piece of rebar, that's exactly where it's going to be going. All right, once I've got my measurement, I go ahead and cut it out. And I just do a dry fit to make sure it all lines up, and it does. Now I'm just marking the mounting brackets for screw holes. So I take these out of the drill press to make the holes. I notice when drilling steel, it makes it a lot easier to have your drill press at a low speed and use a lot of oil. Alright, now I am just moving on to chamfering the holes. Alright, time to start welding it all together. Alright, and there they are, all welded up. But since it was an even number, I just want to... Alright, now I'm just cleaning up my welds. They're a little bit messy because I am using a flux cord welder. Now that they're all cleaned up, I am ready to go ahead and start painting. And I'm just using spray paint, and the color of choice is flat black. And there's the finished product. I'm so happy I gave this a try. Rebar is definitely a good option for hairpin legs. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around to the end of the video. That was a very fun project. First time ever trying that and I'm really happy the way it came out. There's a few things I think I can improve on the next... There's a few things I think I can definitely improve on the next time around, but I am very happy with the results today. I definitely recommend you guys give this a try. You probably do better than I did. This is one of the first welding projects I've really done on the channel. Rebar is definitely a cheaper option than getting round stock steel for hairpin legs like this. And it, it really just saves you a lot of money. It's definitely strong enough to hold up a table and it saves you a lot of money. My goal with these table legs is to build a computer desk for myself. So keep your eyes out because I'm probably gonna do a video on that and it'll probably come out shortly as long as everything goes well. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave any comments down below, and if you really like the video, feel free to share it, it'll really help me out. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.